In this video, I want to go through some examples of sketching some horizontal translations of exponential curves like these. So for number one, y equals 9 to the x plus 2, the first thing you want to do is draw on your horizontal asymptote, which will be at y equals 2. So y equals 2, and make sure you label it. And then your curve will look like this. And your point of interest is where it crosses the y-axis, which is when x is 0. So we'll have 9 to the 0 plus 2, which is equal to 3. And so that is our sketch for number 1. Now, for the second one, y equals 3 to the x take away 5. First thing you want to do is draw on your uh, horizontal asymptote, which will be at y equals minus 5. So y equals minus 5. And we'll pop on our sketch. There are two points of interest. Now, where it crosses the y-axis will be 3 to the 0 take away 5. So 1 take away 5 is minus 4. Now, where it crosses the x-axis, we need to put the y equal to 0. So 0 is equal to 3 to the x take away 5. And we're going to add 5 to both sides. And then we need to solve this equation. Now, the solution to this uses logarithms. We saw an example of that in the previous video. And the way that you write this is x is equal to log, and then we have the base number, which is 3. We write that just below and smaller, and that will be log base 3 of 5. And that is the exact point at which this curve crosses the x-axis. OK? Right, let's take a look at another example. So, number three, y equals 6 to the x, take away 2. So, first things first, we draw on the horizontal asymptote, which will be at y equals minus 2. So, y equals minus 2. And then we draw our curve. Two points of interest. So when x is 0, we're going to have 6 to the 0 take away 2, which is 1 take away 2, which is minus 1. And this point is when y is 0. So again, we put y is 0. We add 2 to both sides. And then x will be log. And then we use this as the base number, so base 6 of 2. So this will be log base 6 of 2. And that's the exact point at which the curve crosses the x-axis. So at the moment, you'll be looking at this uh, with these logarithms, not fully understanding what they are, uh, and just seeing it as a bit of magic at this point. That is perfectly fine. Uh, if you've never met logarithms before, it'll all seem very odd but we will get to logarithms in the playlist, OK? Let's look at the fourth one. Now, the fourth one is a little bit more tricky. So it doesn't look like it should be, but we've got to be a little bit more careful here. So y equals 5 to the x take away 1, more careful in our sketch. First of all, we're going to draw on the horizontal asymptote, which will be at y equals minus 1. So y equals minus 1. Now, before I draw on the curve, I am going to work out where it crosses the y-axis first. Now, that's when x is 0. So we'll have 5 to the 0 take away 1, which is 1 take away 1, which is 0. So that means that the curve crosses through the origin. So our curve will look like this. So in this case, we don't have to worry about working out 
where it crosses the x-axis separately and using logarithms because it just crosses the x-axis at x equals zero. Okay, and so here have been some examples of being able to sketch um, exponential curves that have been lifted uh, vertically or brought down vertically.